I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last part, Chloe brought us here to this junkyard just because she wanted us to play up our powers a little bit while she shot at some bottles and we told her where to aim after watching and rewinding time just so she could have some fun really and some guy appeared with a knife saying that Chloe owed, owed him some money and he took our gun off us as well. So uh, I had a choice this to shoot him. Day of Max's fucked up life. Time to go get Chloe. Okay, I had the choice to shoot him or not shoot him. I chose not to because, you know, I just didn't want to shoot a guy for, <laughs> like, that, you know, out of nowhere. Chloe's so, waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. So we're going to leave the junkyard at Chloe. Let's go. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too, I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Why are we lying on the train tracks? I see a train go past before. This is live tracks. Keep the world out. We need an idiot. Secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Um. What? Yeah, sure. I'm freaked out. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Bad boy? Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Um... Be careful. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Alright, before we carry on this conversation, why is there not an option for me to say, Listen, I'm, you know the type of girl I am, I'm quite mature, so please can we get off the fucking train tracks? I don't understand this. <laughs> if, and, and now I've also forgotten the question. Um, Rachel and I, or why? Why, I guess, because I don't know what the question is. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Oh, hello. God, that's extremely loud. Hmm. Max! Help! I'm stuck! Hold on, Chloe. Oh, now she's stuck. What? 
And there comes the train, you fucking moron. Oh shit. Oh fuck's sake. Uh, do we need to. Oh, can you just die? Because <laughs> you just kind of deserve this. Alright, oh, what's this? Which way is the train coming? Is it coming this way? Because if it's that way, we can. We switch the lever. Can we do something? I don't know why we're doing this. Okay, that's not working. I can't even move it an inch. What's it? Open oh, this? Um, Look. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Okie dokie. I don't have a tool. Yes, 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 yes. What do I have? Is there anything up there? Let's run up there. There's a rail rats, okay. There's a building in here. Anything useful inside? What's up? Shit, I can't budget at all. For God's sake. This is locked as well. Alright, what's this? Crowbar. Get the crowbar. I can definitely use this bad boy. Alright, let's set the crowbar to um do we should we raise the tracks or should we use it on the box? Let's go to the box and see if we can snap the wires. I'm guessing that's gonna stop the train. Hopefully. Nope, that's not an option. Alright, let's, let's raise the um thing. Okay, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, the train's trying to stop. Um Okay, this is over. Okay, the train's hitting her there. So let's rewind it quite a far away because uh, maybe if we use the crowbar instead to open the the door. Alright, so let's run upstairs. Not upstairs, I mean up the hill. And we'll try and use the crowbar on the door because it doesn't work on the lever. Um, shit. Crowbar circle. Here we go. Can we do something? Can we speak on the radio maybe? It's a... Uh, Smart catch up there. There's a drawer. God, there's so many things like to try and find. I'm guessing we're looking for some pliers. Here we go, pliers. Take them quick. Take. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. All right, now we'll head back and um, cut the wires in the fuse box. What does that do? Does that stop the pra the train from working? I hope it does. All right, open. I need to open this again. Crap. Skip that. Um, pliers. Which wire to cut? Poof, yellow. Whoa, short circuit city. Did that work? Hello? Okay, we want time. <laughs> That's not stopping. <laughs> um, hit something this again. Pliers. Which wire to cut? Red. Now that's the right thing. Okay, then now it's unlocked. Now pull the lever. What does that to do though? Because ah, okay, the the actual rail track lifts and moves to um change things. You okay? You're so that forced her foot to be loose. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn, that was close. I've Aren't saved you your life twice now. To a nice, quiet, desolate spot. It was cool to spend time in your lair, but. I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Alright, so we've saved Chloe twice now. Um, so she cannot bitch at us anymore. If she, not for at least like another 10 years, you know? So please, Chloe, stop being a knobhead and doing stupid things, because I don't Thanks really like life, you. Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Um, what do you mean? They're both like the same. Like, I want, I want to say yeah. It might do, but I've got to say, either doubt it or explain what. <sighs> so let's just explain what. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Um, eh? Uh? uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! 
Like you said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. It's funny, like, Maxine is obviously good friends with Chloe when they were younger. And um, Chloe is like a completely different person now, she's just a rebel, but you know, Max wouldn't be friends with her if she just met her like this for the first time, but because she has got such a history, you know, she's sticking next to it, sticking by her, being very loyal to her friendship because they've been friends for so long, which I think that, I don't think Max really likes her all that much now. Or well, at least I don't anyway. <laughs> right, so we're back in school. Time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Alright, so the class is not ready yet. That's the photography class, Mr. Jefferson, I think. So, there's some stuff going on we can kind of interact with, walk around, talk to people. Um, let's see if there's anyone interesting that we can speak to. Someone that we kn we've we spoke to before. I mean, oh, hello. Thank you. I think this Trevor guy... Is, is this the guy who's skateboarding? Okay, we can only look at him. I don't really care for looking at him. There's David. Let's, see, let's speak to David. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? Um, you hit Chloe. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What's about Kate Marsh? What about Kate or you treat Kate back? What about Kate? Let's ask it. Because I really want to know why he's constantly like grilling her. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Hmm. So I think there's something going on in this school that we don't really know about. With people going missing and... Something going on with Kate and he's looking out for everyone because he thinks he has to. And we've got a message of Warren there. Let's listen. To, let's see what that is. Um, okay, this is. Let's go back a bit. Hey, girl. Yeah. Sit down, science. Bra. Is that what that says? I'm in the sci fi lab now. I'm so scrum just squatting as Kitty. I'm no squad. I don't know what that's. What? Okay, see you soon. Whatever. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Is this the lab? It's a science class right there. There he is. He's her boyfriend, pretty much, isn't he? So let's let's see what Warren's up to. Hey Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer! Perfect timing! I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Um, so I'll tell him now, one of them. If it's wrong, I can rewind time. I have a vision. go -dium. go -dium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Okay. Zip. Nothing. Alright, let's go back then. Go to that circle on the thing. Big brain, think. Hey Warren. Are you okay? Um, Ham Asking skip all this. Either a bit of potassium. potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works. You get a free hug. Hey, he didn't say that one was a bad pun. Maybe he likes that one. 
Yay. Weird science. Is that right then? Do I get a hug? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Okay, where's my free hug? Is that right? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. This can't be that hard. Oh, he lied. He said he would hug me. Uh, I'm not impressed. I'm disappointed. Hello? Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts. And yours might be the one that decided. Petition for what? Why is that a line under the experiment? How is your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing here, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. All right, we're done with this woman. I think this is a side stuff. Let's focus on the um, getting to class now, I think. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. So, is Mr... What's his name's class ready yet? Oh, there's Kate. That's, oh, that's the teacher as well. You can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Kate, Why? Kate. You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Kate. Kate. Stop, stop. Kate. Kate. Just Kate. Leave me alone. Kate. Okay, she's not having an issue. Stop. Don't oh, fuck you then. You said that you were happy that I was there for you. Now you're telling me to fuck off. You fuck off, you fucker. Alright, so let's uh, Mr. Jefferson. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? <sighs> Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Huh? Hey, I'm David Madsen. Yes. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good uh. enough. <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? So we had an opportunity to take a photo of him. Um, is it Mr. Marsh, is that his name? Him arguing with Kate. But um, I chose not to because I wanted to interrupt the arguments and like, help Kate. So that's why we haven't got the photo. So this is it's asking me now about the viral video. Everybody knows. Kate is freaked out. Yeah, everybody knows. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Nathan Prescott, oh, that was private. Um, he knows, so let's just talk about it. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. So far playing this game, it does seem like my actions, like, 
the consequences do follow quite well because that a lot of that conversation right there with that guy were results of um, things that I had done and not done, like by telling the principal about the thing I could I could have not told them about the gun, and then also I could have took the picture. So there's like different outcomes that we could have had in that that um, conversation, and also this is only episode two, so it'd be interesting to see how far this does progress in the future. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Look at her ass. That's a nice ass. If I might, if I do say so. How, how old are you? You're not like twelve, are you? <laughs> Please don't be too young. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Like anybody does. Let's end it here. Alright guys, they're going to actually um, end the video here. We'll start the next episode, next video, as the class starts with the teacher when he comes in after his phone call. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!